What advice would you give to future students hoping to be Calc scholars? I think be true to yourself and your passions and <laughs> express your story and your application, like not the story you think they're looking for. I definitely agree. You want to stick with what you know and what you really enjoy and what brings like you a lot of joy and passion because they're going to be able to see if you're not, um, you know, really speaking about what you've done and what really brings um, you hope and a sea of future for. So. I would say to be genuine, like with your essays, with the interview, everything, because you really can't fake passion and that's what they're looking for. Everybody here has one thing in common is that we're passionate about whatever it is that we choose to be passionate about. So make sure you're not trying to present yourself to be somebody you're not because they'll see through that. What they're really looking for is people that are passionate and are going to be successful in their future and you can show your passion in high school, show it in your activities and that's what's really going to impress the reviewers and make sure that you have a good chance of getting it. What I think is like interesting is like personally I almost didn't apply for Coke Scholars because I didn't think I was going to get it and then at the last second I was like why the hell not so I applied for it and here we are. So I think it's like you have to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone and take a risk and I feel like that's so unnatural that if you can do that it's going to pay off. Keep in mind that the process is a lot of like randomness and numbers so you put in your best like but really I'd like so just apply to a lot of scholarships and see like what works out in your favor. And if it's a rejection, it's less about you, it's more just about like numbers, really. Alright, I'm Matt, I'm from uh, New York, and one advice I'd give to people who want to be future scholars is do things that you're passionate about, you know? Really commit to yourself, and then you can find success, you're on yeah, that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's, that's good. You don't have to feel like you're going to be underqualified or unqualified, just go for it, right? Because you'll meet a lot of different types of people who are all brilliant and unique in their own ways, and you'll fit into that. So, yeah. Do good on your interview, and act really happy and passionate about what you do. Me up. Okay. Um, I would say just like be really genuine with your essays and your interviews. I think those are like probably the most important part of <laughs> parts of the application. Um, I think like really just um, if you're if you're able to talk about what you do in a passionate way that'll shine through especially in the interview round and for the first round just have a lot of community service hours <laughs> round one actually I, for me i think it's also for round two like i think they just want to see like very like honestly well-rounded people or like just they just want to see what you do so even if it's like very insignificant insignificant like it could provide another level of insight into who you are if you become a regional finalist don't overlook like how hard the interview is because even though it's like 250 people to 150 people which seems like it's more likely that you make it than you don't it's like none of the people who make it to that stage are the type to mess up and I know a lot of really good interviewers who didn't and even end up making it even though like they didn't mess up I think another important thing is like we always talk about like having a vision and that's like what coke is all about and so like just in your essays even just communicating that you have a vision and like it doesn't matter whether or not it's something you've already obtained it's about the fact that like it's something you're working towards and something that you're at least like have in your brain and so that in itself is something that they look for and I think is inspiring my advice is to make sure you practice um, communicating what you're passionate about and writing in a way that feels authentic to you so that you can make sure that the people who are reading your application um, get to see the true you because that's who they'll love and that's who um, they'll want to be a part of the Coke Scholar community. Hi, my name is Samir Bethesia. I'm from Long Island, New York. One advice I have to a future Coke Scholar is just Try to persuade or try to show how you want to help your community or help others. That's one thing that I showed throughout my application and I got here, so thank you. Um, honestly, I think one thing that's been really important here is like meeting other people. And so, you know, before you become a Coke Scholar or while you're a Coke Scholar, continue to just make connections and meet new people. It really opens up your perspectives um, and you gain a lot of knowledge from it think that what I've learned from this weekend um, is this is a vibrant community um, and like connecting and engaging with the community is how you can make the most of this resource um, the resources available to you um, take advantage it's, it's there for you um, and 
really like get to know the people and appreciate the people because there are some incredible amazing amazing people doing amazing things um, and who are on to setting like future change and stuff my advice is to not listen to what anyone thinks about you and just be yourself because you are amazing for people applying for the Coke Scholarship, you got this, because I did not believe in myself, but you should believe in yourself, because guess what, like, we turned up, like, we are having the best time, like, we're eating ice cream at 1, 1 a.m., who eats ice cream at 1 a.m., exactly, you got this. Definitely put everything you did down on the application, that helps, and show what you're passionate about, don't just list accomplishments. My advice is to prepare for your interview. Make sure you do mock interviews with family members, with community leaders, with your dance teacher, anyone to help you prepare and help you think on the spot. Uh, be authentic and really be passionate in what you love to do. Just apply. I mean, like, write, write what you want to write. Don't write what you think they want to hear. Be genuine. Talk about things that excite you, etc. It really takes a good foundation at home to be successful elsewhere and throughout your community. Hi everyone, my name is Rhea Singh. I am a high school senior in Ohio. Um, my advice for Cook Scholars is to first of all apply. I think it seems like a very, very, well it is, you know, one of the most competitive merit scholarships, but you never know. You literally never know. Um, it's definitely worth applying for. I never could have imagined that I'd be getting this. Um, and it's truly such an honor. But as far as advice, make sure you're doing things you're passionate about. Um, don't necessarily do things for the, you know, awards and accolades. I think this passion or this um, scholarship, passion is very, very important. They want to see that you care about what you do. You know very in depth about what you do and why you do what you do. Um, so I think just as long as you know your mission, you know why you do the things you do, that will carry you through the essays and the interview, um, but just be yourself. I think it, it's such a cheesy thing, but don't you know try to make yourself seem passionate about something you're not. Don't try to make yourself seem like you're gonna go into a major you're not. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's your passion and your love for um, everyone around you and what you do that stands out be yourself like i was myself in my interview and in all my essays i wrote one essay about adultery one about how tampons t don't take away a girl's virginity like be yourself like write about things you're passionate about like they find that quirky like you know like like don't like don't try to show off but also don't try to like be someone you're not and it's really hard to get this. Like, I don't think I'm gonna get it. I, imposter syndrome is so real. Like, I literally think that, like, even after all this, like, wow, everyone's so incredible, and I, I shouldn't be here. But like, everything happens for a reason. And if you do get it, great. If you don't, it's literally 0.15 percent of the students in America. And I'm sure there's kids more capable than 0.17, yeah, more capable than me that didn't get it. But like, try. <laughs> so I think. Alistair is right, like you really need to be yourself, but I also think like as long as you're like feeling like your essays and your interview is super authentic, like that's the most important thing. They're looking for personality because most of the people applying have the grades, have the service hours, all of that. So you really want to make sure that you stand out. What's up YouTube? We're back here. Um, future advice that I would give to an applicant who is seeking to be a Coca-Cola scholar is to go ahead and recognize what you actually do, what impact do you actually have, and how much time are you putting into each activity you're doing. So you can do a million different things, but if you're not really like progressing exponentially in that one certain thing, like what are you doing? What are you mastering?